Petrol prices have climbed to a 13-month high, returning close to the levels that prompted the Morrison government to halve the fuel excise last year. Here's a quick look around the capital cities. You can see that right now, in most places, the average price of unleaded and diesel is above $2 a litre. That's after it was around $1.60, $1.70 for quite some time. It's been trending upwards in most cities since the middle of the year. Let's have a look at Sydney as just one example. I got stung this morning. The average price has bounced around from month to month, but right now it's higher than any point since last July. For more on this, let's bring in Pete Curry from the NRMA. Peter Curry, thanks so much for joining us. Well, $2.22, I got at the Bowser this morning. I immediately thought I had to get you on the program. The last time we saw this, the former Morrison government cut petrol excise. What's going on here? I mean, you know, we had the Ukraine war. We thought the, the international oil price had settled down. What's causing all this? Yeah, look, very good question. We still have the Ukraine war, unfortunately. That's definitely a factor. But the biggest factor that we're seeing, well, there's two right now. One is supply continues to be withheld by OPEC and other oil producing countries. So they are continuing to uh, artificially push up the price of oil based on uh, cutting supply. We've also seen at a local or regional level, a number of the big refineries in Malaysia, Singapore and India have been offline uh, um, which wasn't planned. Uh, so there's been technical issues in some of the refineries, which has also had a short-term effect, and hopefully uh, that issue will be addressed uh, at a at a regional level soon. But certainly, um, you know, we're back to where we almost were when we hit those record highs uh, last year. We're certainly not uh, that far off, unfortunately, when you look at some of those average prices. Um, the wholesale price for regular unleaded, it's gone up about 20 cents a litre in the last month. Diesel's even worse, and this is a, a double whammy for Australia because our economy runs on diesel. So it's jumped. The wholesale price for diesel has jumped 31 cents a litre. So we're now going to start seeing diesel being more expensive than unleaded again. And, uh, you know, we're in a country like Australia where goods and services are delivered by diesel, not only will we be paying more at the Bowser, but in the supermarket aisles as well, unfortunately. No doubt about it. That's the flow-on effect. That's why the Morrison government uh, ended up halving that excise. I mean, how long are you expecting these sorts of, of, of prices to last? I'm hoping your answer isn't uh, how long's a piece of string, but do you have any sort of indication? How long's a price cycle? I think that's probably the answer. Certainly in Sydney. So Sydney's right now the most expensive city it has been uh, for a while because it is at the top of the cycle. We're hoping we'll see some relief in Sydney uh, in the next two or three weeks uh, and the prices in Sydney will fall back on average below $2 a litre. Most of the capital cities are now on or near uh, $2 a litre. But the key, the key indicator... Uh, again, as always, will be those global prices. Uh, so, you know, MoGas for, is our international benchmark price here in, in Australia. That and gas oil, which is the diesel benchmark price, have both have gone up a couple of dollars a barrel over the last couple of days. So they're heading in the wrong direction. Uh, if we're going to see some meaningful relief, uh, it's going to have to come from uh, those global prices. And we are hoping... Uh, in the short term, at least, whatever those refinery issues are will be addressed. Uh, but more importantly, we start to see an increase in supply because it's that artificial cut in oil production, which is designed to push up the price. That's what's largely gotten us into this mess right now. And we're hoping some relief will be provided, but certainly no indication yet. So it's not great news for Australian drivers or the Australian economy. Is there anything the government or governments can do to assist in Australia? There is very little we can do. I mean, that is that's the reality that we face. It's the challenge we face here. We are completely um, beholden to global factors. We have no control uh, over the issues that I've just mentioned. Um, you know, we import most of our refined fuel and oil, uh, and so we remain exposed to uh, this highly volatile um, market. And you know, unfortunately, uh, as we continue to rely on this. Uh, it means that families are exposed and there's not much we can do about it. At a local level, we always encourage competition, uh, encourage people to shop around. I mean, there are still bargains right across the country. Uh, I heard you say $2.22. You shouldn't have paid that um, <laughs> if that's what you paid. I was in a rush. Uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, it's definitely cheaper than that in Sydney. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, shop around, 
does give you some relief. There's still a whole bunch of servos in most of the big capitals, well below $2 a litre, some in the 180s and even a few in the 170s. So there are local bargains to be found. That's the best you can do in Australia uh, until we kind of wean ourselves off this dependence. Peter Curry from the NRMA, thanks so much for your time.